Every year we see lists of the richest people in the world, which are usually business people who own shares in big companies. But have you ever wondered what happens to the list of the richest people of all time when we add all the emperors, pioneers, and conquerors of all time? Of course, it is not an easy thing to race for existence between periods and geographies. However, this situation did not prevent leading historians and economists from attempting this work. In today's video, we have compiled for you the richest people in the history of the world. Number 12 on our list Henry Ford, captain of the American car industry and a fabricator who mass-produced cars of the era. The Ford Motor Company founded by him produced affordable cars for the ordinary class for the first time in history. It did this by making vehicles more practical and starting a revolution in transportation. Since he owns the company, Henry Ford is among the richest and most famous people in the world. When he died, his net worth was $200 billion in today's money, most of which was left to the Ford Corporation. Number 11 on our list Cornelius Vanderbilt. Cornelius, with his tale of the rag gold dress, made his fortune in 19th century America by rail and shipping. He began working with his father, who operated a cargo ship between New York, Staten Island, and Manhattan. In 1820, he started his own steamship business, operating in New York, and in 1850 he entered the railroad business. He was known for his cunning and aggressive working style. At the peak of his wealth, he had a total of $202 billion in today's money. According to other business bosses, he was unable to set up a specific fund or donate his money to charities. This family no longer holds any jobs, and Cornelius' fortune is no longer in the family. Number 10 of our list Muammar Gaddafi At the time of the death of Muammar Gaddafi, the pioneer of the Libyan revolution and the political leader of Libya for more than 42 years. Rumors were spreading that he had a fortune of $200 billion. During his decades of rule, he controlled Libya's rich oil mines and revenues, concealing this asset in several different bank accounts and in different countries. At the beginning of the Libya study, the American government found $37 billion in America. At the same time, a total of $30 billion was found in countries including England, Germany, France, and Italy. Today, it is thought that there is just as much money hidden by him and waiting to be revealed. Number 9 on our list 1. William The reign of William, the first Norman king of England, began in 1066, when he defeated the King Harold on the battlefield. He is the son of Robert I, Duke of Normandy, and his mistress, Leva, known as Pitt William. He succeeded his father, the Duke of Normandy, and was appointed by King Edward to England. His throne is said to have been promised. William declares war when Edward announces that the King Harold is on his deathbed. The plunder and lands from the conquest make William I's fortune $228 billion in present-day money. Number 8 on our list Jacob Fugger, a 16th century German merchant, mining entrepreneur, and banker. Jacob Fugger has amassed great wealth and power during his lifetime. At the peak of his wealth, this number reached $277 billion. The source of this wealth was later tied to the textile business with Italy. But the business actually exploded when Jacob ran banking businesses with the Austrian royal family. By this point he held most of the copper trade in Europe. With his great wealth influencing much of European history, Jacob arranged marriages for the Austrian royal family to retain control of Bohemia, Spain, and Hungary, and Charles V, who would become the next Roman emperor. He was guaranteed to be elected. When he died, all his business and property passed to his nephew. Number 7 of our list Osman Ali Khan The wealth of Osman Ali Khan who became a part of the Republic of India in 1948 and was on the cover of Time magazine in 1937 as the richest person in the world, was dependent on mines and land income, and he himself was the richest person in the world in the 18th century, was the only source of diamonds. His net worth is known as $2 billion in the early 1940s. That's 2% of the U.S. economy at the time. In today's money, that's $230 billion. The Jacob Diamond a 124-karat diamond in his jewelry collection, was valued at more than $40 million and was used by him as a way to keep papers from flying. However, he was described as a very mean person with the way he dressed. However, most institutes and buildings in Hyderabad were built during his reign. Osmania University, General Hospital, High Court and Observatory are just a few of them. After his transfer, most of his wealth was confiscated by the Indian government. Among them was his Nizam jewelry collection. But even after that, he was known as the richest man in East Asia until his death in 1967. It is known that he fathered 149 children and that many people claim his wealth. Number 6 of our list, Nikolai II. On the sixth row of our list is Nicholas Roman II, the Tsar of Russia. Nikolai's fortune is worth $300 billion in today's money. He began his reign in 1894 before he abdicated in 1917. The Romanov family ruled Russia for more than 300 years and acquired a lot of assets and property during that time. 
The only thing Nicholas did was to increase this wealth. The family's jewelry collection alone was worth 160 million rubles, and he owned multi-millions in noble bank and railroads. These coins were transferred to the German bank after a revolution. The empress owned more than 600 apples, and the family owned villas and palaces in many European countries. In Russia, there was more. All these properties were confiscated during the Bolshevik Revolution and he was killed in 1918 along with his wife and children. Number 5 on our list Andrew Carnegie Andrew Carnegie, a fabricator and a community lover, was born in Scotland, the son of a hand weaver. Andrew immigrated to America from Scotland at the age of 13 and worked in a series of telegraphs and railroads. While he was working, he started to invest in oil, infrastructure facilities, and steel. He eventually founded the Carnegie Steel Company. Andrew had been insanely successful with the vertical integration of raw raw materials and the reduction of cost in steel production through the use of the Bassinger process. He later sold the steel company to become a member. He retired in 1901 with $480 million in his pocket. At the height of his fortune, he had $337 billion in today's money. Number 4 on our list by John D. Rockefeller John D. Rockefeller, who holds the title of being the richest American ever and the richest person in modern history, was $367 billion at the peak of his fortune. This man, who made his money from oil, is also the owner of the Standard Oil Company and holds 90% of the oil return in the USA. His strategies revolutionized the American petroleum industry and the company grew so large that in 1911 a court decision ruled that this was a violation of the trust laws and that the company should be split into 34 different companies. Rockefeller, of course, has a stake in these companies, and the payoff would be incredible over the next 10 years. We can explain this with his net worth multiplied by 5 times. He also founded institutions that continue to be influential in the fields of science, education and medicine even today. Number 3 of our list Mansa Musa, with a fortune of $425 billion in today's money. Mansa Musa was the first emperor of Mali and the king of Timbuktu. He controlled the Mali Empire and the Ghana Empire, and during his 14th century reign had conquered most of Africa. One of his nicknames was the Lord of the Mines. He owned more than half of the gold reserves of the time, just at a time when the demand for gold is increasing rapidly. He also owned the main trade routes along the West African coast and the Mediterranean. He had built schools, mosques, and even a large university. All of these, even after his death, became a legacy after him, and some of them are still alive today. He is also known for the hatch he once made to Mecca, with the caravan and tens of thousands of people stretching as far as the eye can see. When they stopped in Cairo, they had donated and spent so much money that it caused instant inflation and it took years for the local economy to recover. Number 2 of our list is Duan Layman. Another member of our list of the richest people in history is King Solomon who belongs to many national books. He ruled for 40 years from 370 BC to 331 BC and is known for being incredibly wise and wealthy. It is said that he bought 666 gold bars a year with his empire, which reached magnificent dimensions during his reign. That means 39 tons of gold every year. If we add his other incomes, we can say that his fortune is $2.2 trillion. He used his existence to build many buildings, including the temple in Jerusalem, which is known as one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. Number one of our list, Singijin. Singijin, who spread fear all over and was the founder of the Mongol Empire, is in the first place of our list with his wealth of more than 100 trillion. Between 1206 and 1227 he used his armies to capture every neighboring kingdom and won all battles. It had conquered millions of square kilometers and controlled most of Central Asia and China. The local people of the kingdoms he conquered were often put to the sword. Considering the value of the land he owns, this is enough to make him the richest person ever to have set foot in the world. Sengishin is also said to have millions of descendants today. What do you think about this subject? In this video, we told you about the richest people in the world. However, of course, material wealth is as important as our spiritual wealth and health. After all, there's no point in having that much money if you don't spend it. 